You don't have to be a math genius to get a perfect score on the digital SAT or the ACT. In fact, most of the seemingly hardest math problems just boil down to simple math. I'm not a genius. I don't like to think too hard. The key is to write it down. And I'm going to demonstrate it using multivariable problems. And uh, let's, let's go. So if we look at this problem right here, number 13, Vivian bought party hats and a cupcake for $71. Each package of party hats costs $3, and each cupcake costs $1. If Vivian bought 10 packages of party hats, how many cupcakes did she buy? So if we look at this problem, it just hurts our head a little bit. Oh, how do I keep track of all this? The key is write it down. So let's write everything down. So Vivian bought party hats and cupcakes for $71. So let's make them as variables. So let's say party hats are X. So the number of party hats are X and the number of cupcakes are Y. So X are the number of party hats and Y are the number of cupcakes. So then I can say that three dollars per party hat times X, which are the number of party hats, plus one dollar for each cupcake times Y is equal to seventy-one dollars. So I'm just writing it out there. So then they say if Vivian bought ten packages of party hats. So now they're telling me that what's X, X is the number of party hats, so they're telling me X is 10. They're telling me X is 10. So let's just plug that in. So now I have 3 times 10 plus 1 times Y, which is just Y is equal to 71. 30 plus Y equals 71. Y equals 41. So what's Y? Y is the number of cupcakes. So the answer is 41. Got it? Straightforward. We went from a seemingly complicated problem, writing it down, setting it up, and solving to get the answer that you want. All right. Let's move on to another problem. Let's look at number 20. An event planner, an event planner is planning a party. It costs the event planner a one-time fee of $35 to rent the venue and $10.25 per attendee. So how are we going to write that down? I mean, that, that looks like it might hurt our head a little bit. But if we write it down, it can get much simpler. So $35 to rent the venue plus 10.25 times the number of attendees. So if we say X is the number of attendees, then we have 35 plus 10.25 X is equal to the total cost. Now, I don't know what they're asking, but right now I'm just writing it down. Just looking at one sentence at a time and writing it down. The event planner has a budget of $200. So now they're telling us that this total cost right here is $200. What is the greatest number of attendees possible without exceeding the budget? So now I'm literally solving for X. This is math you've learned in seventh, eighth grade tops. So I have 35 plus 10.25 X is equal to 200. Let's subtract 35, subtract 35. 10.25 X is equal to um, 165. Divide by 10.25, divide by 10.25. You have X is equal to 16.09. So they're looking for the greatest number of attendees without exceeding the budget. Well, you can't have a fraction of attendees, so the answer is just 16. Good? So we're taking, we, taking a problem that looks hard, that they're trying to trick you. We're writing what we know down in order to simplify it, and it breaks down into simple math. You don't have to use your head. You don't have to rack your brain. Easy peasy. Let's do one more. And uh, let's move on to another question from the digital SAT. Let's look at number 14. A small business owner budgets $2,200 to purchase candles. 
Okay, so his budget is $2,200. The owner must purchase a minimum of 200 candles to maintain the discounted pricing. So he must purchase 200 candles. The owner pays $4.90 per candle to purchase small candles and $11.60 per candle to purchase large candles. So it looks like there's small candles and there's large candles. So let's just say X is the number of small candles. And Y is the number of large candles. Okay, so X is the number of small candles, Y is the number of large candles. All right, so now... He needs to purchase a minimum of 200 candles. So we know that X plus Y has to equal 200. And then what else do we know? That it's $4.90 for the small candle and eleven sixty for the large candle. And that adds up to 2,200. So we can set 4.9 times X plus 11.6 times Y is equal to 2,200. So now we have now something that makes sense. We can solve this mathematically. This is just multiple equations with multiple unknowns. There's multiple ways to solve it, but um, probably the easiest is just multiply the top equation by 4.9 and then, and then subtract. Um, you could use substitution, you could use elimination. I like elimination. So we multiply the top by 4.9. So that gives you 4.9x plus 4.9y is equal to 200 times 4.9 is, um, plug it in your calculator, it's 980. And then you just subtract the two and that eliminates the x. And that's why it's called elimination. And then you have 11.6 minus 4.9 is 6.7. 6.7y, just use your calculator, is equal to 1220. 2200 minus 980 is 1220. So you have 6.7y is equal, is equal to 1220. Divide by 6.7. Divide by 6.7. You have y equals to 182. Okay, so now we know y is 182. We can figure out x if we want, but let's just look to see what they're asking. What is the maximum number of large candles? So we're looking for large candles. Large candles are y. So we already got y. Y is 182. That's the answer. A lot of times what they do is you solve this equation. You solve for x, but they're asking for y. You don't want to do that. You always want to make sure you're answering what's being asked. Okay. So now, now that you're an expert on this topic and you can answer these questions, even though they seem complicated, a lot of our students have difficulty with these problems. So I know they're, they seem complicated. But if you write it down and you approach it methodically using variables, then you could break it down into simple math. And that's really what we want to do. So um, there's a lot of different problems on the math. And there's a lot of different problems, different sections. And we're just giving you one piece of it. So if you want a full one-on-one -on -one course for SAT math, contact us and we're happy to help you. We only work one-on-one -on -one sessions to help our students achieve perfect. All right, so the, the quiz of the day is going to be question number 18. A company that provides well washing tours takes groups of 21 people at a time. The company's revenue is $80 per adult, $60 per child. If the company's revenue for one group consisting of adults and children was $1440, how many people in the group were children? If you can get this right, put it in the comments below and uh, let me know if this was helpful for you. Really do appreciate all your support. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.